Hello, in this video tutorial I will be showing you how you can create MacBook mockups. So the first thing I did was load up the 3D previewed generator, which is the mockup generator that I will be using to show you um, the whole creation process. In the top left corner, we see a variety of tabs. They are adding a device, text tabs, image tabs, background, and plane, which are used to create and fully customize your mockup. Um, the simplest thing to do is to add a device. You have a selection of five devices, iPhone, uh, some Android phones, iPad, MacBook. Since it's a MacBook tutorial, I click on the MacBook and wait until it loads. So once it's loaded, we can drag it around and position it however you like. And in most cases, you would want to replace the screen placeholder with something with your own user interface interaction or screenshot. So to do this, I just select some image and um, we can see that the screen placeholder has changed to our own image. We can actually make it a video also if you do want to create a video mockup. And in some cases, if what you want is simply replace a screen and render a MacBook, this might be all that you want. And you can go ahead and press on download and um, export the PNG. You can use it on landing pages or uh, social media or any other use case or your own requirement. Uh, however, if you want to stick around and see how else we can customize it, then uh, do, uh, do stay uh, on the video. At the bottom, we see um, different layers. We see the device layer. If we want to customize the device, and we see the camera layer. Currently, the camera layer is active. We can see the purple border active. And it allows us to actually rotate our device in 3D and select a better angle. For example, instead of having it statically facing us, we can slightly rotate it. OK. Um, Let's make a rotation from here and um, click on the device again. We can also do the same thing on the device. We can position, change the position of the device, change the rotation of the device and scale it. Um, however, in 3D space, it looks a bit empty. So let's make an illusion that the MacBook is on top of something or sitting on the surface. To do this, we need to add shadows. To add shadows, go to the plane tab and Turn it on. We can see that the plane is too low um, above the MacBook, so uh, below the MacBook. So let's move it a bit higher up. I move it slightly higher up above the MacBook and click back on the device layer at the bottom. Select the device layer, scroll down, and align it to the plane. This basically moves um, the MacBook so that it's on top of the plane, and we can see that it's um, sitting nicely on the plane, and shadows are displayed. Um, now I think it's a bit too high up, so I go back to the plane and I lower it slightly more. Uh, click back on the device layer and drop it to the plane. Okay, so so far so good. And uh, in, again, in a variety of cases, you just might want to customize the background a little bit, tweak it to something um, that fits more. For example, you have the option of solid, linear, <clears throat> and image backgrounds. Uh, let's pick something very nice and easy on the eye and um, it's good to go. Um, you can also add it and make it transparent by selecting the transparency layer and clicking, selecting zero for the alpha channel. Um, okay, so, so far so good. And um, I've already made a few videos on how to create 3D animations and um, how to better customize um, the mockup by utilizing the 3D editor. So the links to that will also be provided and you can learn more about the tool in more details. But as for the sake of an example, I will just animate the device. Um, so in order to do that, I go to the camera layer and I um, want to change the position of our camera to make it an animation. I turn on the position and then um, let's say at I, I'll, I'll zoom out the timeline so that we can easily see what is actually going on on it and make the mock-up slightly smaller. We can see that our plane is actually not until the end. So I increase the duration of our plane. Um, I go back to the camera layer and I say that somewhere at two seconds, instead of having this angle, I actually want to have a different angle. So I move the camera here. 
and let's see what actually happens and um, as you'd expect now it's an animation where the camera moves from one side to another and you might want to render a video mockup of this so this um, basically shows you how you can create macbook mockups with ease online and um, you can also save your work as a template that you can come back to and edit later for example macbook example save it and come back to it at some later stage in life and uh, customize it a little bit further or change it ever so slightly hopefully this was useful all the links to some other videos that I suggest you watch out will be provided as well as um, check out the description because I will um, um, share appropriate links there as well. Hopefully this was useful. Thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, then feel free to raise them in the channel and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.